everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i do all things <laughs> baby hi say hi to people so today i'll be sharing with you guys five tips on how to relieve milk clock dogs so what milk what are milk clock dogs i hope i'm pronouncing it properly what it is is whenever you have milk uh clogged into one of your breasts or both of your breasts what you want to do is relieve that milk because if you leave it there for too long it could become painful uh it could also lead in worst case scenario to mastitis so what you want to do is pump all that milk out whenever it gets uncomfortable so these five tricks or tips i i've learned them along the way some tips from my midwife some of them ones from the internet um so i kind of condense them into five that really work best for me and that work for my good friends out there. If you do find that these tips work for you, comment down below. I would love to hear your story. If you have other tips on how to relieve them, comment down below because I would love for other moms to see a different tips that might work for them. So sharing is caring, guys. So do feel free to comment down below whatever um, thing you might think might work. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Okay, so tip number one. Tip number one will be you will have to go to the grocery store or ask someone to get from the grocery store a cabbage head, I think it's called. So essentially it comes in the, like a big ball, just like lettuce. You gotta pop it in the fridge for a couple of hours. Make sure that each leaf is cold. Well, you won't be sure that each leaf is cold, but as, as soon as you tear one, if it's cold enough, kind of like a cooling sensation, then you're good to go. So what you're gonna do is, if you're breastfeeding your baby, you're gonna put your baby on your breast and then you're gonna kind of wrap that cabbage around your breast or whatever you think the um, bump is, the milk clog is. I will first wrap both of my breasts, even I, if I had one clog, I will wrap both of them with the leaf and then I'll start pumping. I did notice that my milk Oh my god, you're gonna break that. I did notice that my milk came out faster whenever I used that technique. I essentially did it whenever I felt that my milk was clogged, but I knew like when you could you can touch whenever the 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 ball that's in there of milk, it's hard or it's it's not hard enough that you won't have to do the other steps that I'm gonna recommend. So whenever I felt that it was coming, I will do that and it will relieve my milk. Uh, release my milk super super fast they do say not to consume cabbage when you're when you're breastfeeding i think it's an old uh, myth out there i didn't consume cabbage but i did notice when i put cabbage cold cabbage leaf on top of my breast it relieved it released the milk really really fast um that was also what was recommended from my midwife she did mention it's an old wife cell but it might work so give it a try i give it a try and it did work wonders for me so that was whenever i f find that the clock wasn't as hard second you can try the massage technique i'll link down below the one that i found that helped me it was a really cool massage where like you will be like you know pressing on the boob and whatever before pumping it was a series of techniques i will link it down below i so before the cabbage i will massage my breast and then put the cabbage whenever i didn't have time Ooh, watch out mama you know who's there whenever i didn't have time to um massage it i would just put the cabbage leaf i mean i would say that it was more efficient when i massage it and then put the cabbage leaf if i didn't do the massage i will still get the milk released but not all the way let's say the third technique you can either put a hot pad around the breast before pumping or you can take a really hot bath well hot whatever you can um, the most you can tolerate so what i would do is i will fill my tub with hot water almost like whatever i could resist i'm i'm, I'm really high tolerance in uh, warm i i showered with hot water like my bath my my bathroom is like foggy whenever i come out the shower because i love hot water so for me it wasn't really an issue so what i would do is i will fill my bathtub with really hot water then i'll stay in there for 15 to 20 minutes um the longer the better okay. obviously you don't want the water to get cold immediately after i came out of the bathtub i will put my pumps in because i only exclusively pump my baby i think she's taking the poopy 
So what you will do, you will go on the cow position, which is essentially this. And you want to work with gravity to pull the milk. Look, well, the pump is going to be pulling the milk, but the gravity will also help that. Um, so you would do that if you're pumping for around 10 to 15 minutes usually you want to do the same exact amount of time i did notice that the heat with pumping that way released the clock if it was a really hard clock that took me many tries are you okay that took me many tries to relieve so that was like the worst case scenario whenever i couldn't pump. okay so the last tip here is if you're exclusively pumping Obviously, the suction of your pump is different from a suction of a baby. A baby suction is stronger. So what you want to do, I put my pump away. Give me one second. Let me go grab my pump. Okay, I am back with the pump. So as I was mentioning, the suction of your baby is different from a suction of a pump. Obviously, the baby suction is harder. So what you want to do if I have the vuelo currently. So if you're pumping this way all the time, you want to switch it up. You can pump this way or you can pump the other way um that way you're essentially sucking from all angles are you okay that way you're sucking from all, all angles and you don't miss any spots um if you're doing both breastfeeding and exclusively pumping whenever you have a milk clock use your baby as a, a as a best suction technique um so those are all my five tips so the first one try cold cabbage leaf if cold cabbage leaf alone doesn't work try the massage technique that i'm going to link below the third one will be uh either a hot pad or a not pad pad or a hot bath a really as much as you can um are you okay as much as you can tolerate and immediately after your hot bath you want to pump in the cow position <clears throat> for X amount of time. So if you usually pump for 15 to 25 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes, pump that time. And then fifth will be changing your pumping angles. Are you okay? I think you're tired. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So that is all for today, guys. I hope you find these tips helpful. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Do share this video if you think it might be helpful for another mom out there. Do comment down below if you have any other tips that we can share out there. Sharing is caring, as I always say. And I'll see you guys next time. Say bye-bye, Oli. Say bye-bye, mama. Bye-bye. Good job. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you guys.